welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to be a calculator. Boom, boom, boom. Eh, just kidding. Cross this out. Today I'm gonna show. Yeah, not show you. Today we're gonna be figuring out grade four math legal questions. 2015 contest part two. And this time I'm never gonna forget this. Before we get into the video, please subscribe, like, and share to my channel. Thanks for support. Now onto the video. So the sixth question is part two. There's a part one that has question one, two, three, four, five, five questions. So this is actually part two. And the first question is called the, the sixth question. Yes. So the sixth question is, which pair of numbers has a common factor greater than one? Well, let's see. Right here we have a. A is four and nine. So factors of four is one, two, and four. And factors of nine are one, three, and nine. So, as you can see, the common factor is one. So, right here it says clearly greater than one. So, that's definitely not correct. We'll move on. So, let's look at B. B is six and twenty-seven. Well, factors of six are one, two, three, and six. And factors of twenty-seven are one, three, nine, and twenty-seven. So the common factor is three. So we circle B. B. What the heck just happened? Okay, I went back. We just moved back in time, but no worries. We circle B. I almost said C. I'm not sure. Um. Now we slam the answer button, and we are correct. Cheese, yum yum cheese, yum 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 yum. Now moving on to the seventh question. Five miles plus five centimeters, eh? Not miles. Five meters plus five centimeters plus five millimeters equals how many millimeters? Hmm. So we can rewrite the question. Five. Meters plus five centimeters plus five millimeters. Well, let's see. We know that one thousand millimeters equals one meter. So, five thousand millimeters equals five meters. So right here we have this five thousand. Now we move on. So we know that. Hmm. How many millimeters equal one centimeter? Well, oh, I got it. So, ten millimeters equals one centimeter. So, in order to have five centimeters, we need to have fifty millimeters. So, right here we have fifty millimeters, and just very easy because. Five millimeters equals five millimeters. That's the same. So now we add this all up, and we get five thousand fifty-five millimeters. Wow, that was hard. That was circle A. Uh, let's get this in for my name. Now we slam the answer button, and we are correct. Now moving on to the eighth question. Seven can turn into eight. See, boy, boy, and boy, boy, and we get our wonderful one million pens. Eh, just not one million. Just like only six pens to figure out this question. Holding, holding. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick the best two pens. These three pens actually. And now let's figure it out with this pen. First, and then we'll use the other pens. Boing. So first, we have thirty-three hours and thirty-six 
minutes equals how many minutes? Eh, you're very annoying, Pen. You know that. Whatever. I'll just hold you because you give us good luck. So we know that there are sixty minutes in one hour. So thirty-three times sixty minutes plus thirty-six minutes equals. One thousand nine hundred eighty minutes plus thirty-six minutes. That equals two thousand sixteen minutes. Hey, you are very good luck, little pen. Now we circle C, and we press the answer button, and we are correct. Boing boing boing. It's too hot. It's like this. Boing boing boing. Now we move on to the ninth question, and of course we switch the pen. Bye bye, you little pen. And we have the good luck pen, the next one, the yellow pen. So the ninth question is: Which of the following has an odd number of whole number factors? Well, let's see. A is forty-seven. Well, factors of forty-seven is only one and forty-seven. Those are two factors, so that is definitely not correct. And we move on to the B. Or the second one because you don't say B's choice. So B is forty-eight. Factors of forty-eight are. Let's see. I'm gonna count this. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Switch hand. Sit. Yeah. No, not like that. You count like this. One, two, three, four. Six, um, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty-four, and forty-eight. So that's ten. That's a lot. Ten factors. Ten is an even number, so we eliminate B. Now we move on to C. This speaks C. So C is forty-nine. Factors of forty-nine are one, seven, and forty-nine. Oh. Pretty straightforward. That's an odd number of factors. So right now we see that this is correct. Well, we just leave it here and then we check if D is not correct. So we can make sure that this is correct. D is fifty. So factors are one, two, five, ten, twenty-five, and. Fifty. So that's an even number of factors. So we circle C, and then we use my pen to press it. What the heck just happened? Okay, I went back in time again. Now we use my pen to press the answer button. Why you don't work? Then you are very stupid. I'm just gonna use your other. Ah, you don't work. Fine. Here we go. Now we move on to the tenth question, and of course we switch our pen again. Bye bye pen. I move on to this pen. Hopefully a better pen. So the tenth question is: Joe started with thirty books. He sold one book, bought two books, sold three books, bought four books, sold five books, and finally bought six books. After all that, how many books does he have? Well, we know that it's increased one book each time. Increased means add one book each time. So we know that increased three books in the end. So it's thirty plus three equals thirty-three. So we circle C. And now we press the answer button, not with our hand, but this wonderful pen. And hopefully, one shot will do. Hey, pretty good. And we are correct. Now, bye bye, pen. Did you like this video? Well, I enjoyed it. Anyway, bye bye. See you next time. And don't forget to press the subscribe button, um, the subscribe, the like button, and the share button. And if you have a question, you can just search me up on the messenger, and then 
ask me what kind of question you have. Bye-bye. See you next time.